What's going on guys, Boom One Soon here, and today I'm here to talk to you about some really overpowered, if not overpowered, just powerful weapons in Battlefield Hardline that you can use to get a huge advantage over your enemies. Now the first one is the M16, this is a cop gun, uh, and it has extremely fast rate of fire, not extremely, it has just fast rate of fire, it's 800 miles per minute, which is pretty fast for assault rifles. Um, it's good reload, fast reload, it's not as fast as it used to be. Um, but it's effective at pretty much any range, you can give this gun to pretty much anyone, even if they've never played bad for their life, and chances are they will do well. Um, it's not amazing in the terms that you'll get like a two shot kill every time, that is pretty much impossible with an assault rifle, but it's amazing to the fact that you will pretty much always win gunfights that you're in, you will rarely ever lose out in a gunfight. The one problem though is that you can't actually use this for cops and criminals unless you get 1,000, I believe 250 kills, which is just crazy seeing as this game will probably be around up until November when either the next battle will come out or people will get bored or maybe even, you know, Battlefront will come out and people will just play that instead. Uh, honestly, I can easily imagine that happening, so for that there is the M416, which is basically exactly the same as the uh, M16A3, except that it has faster rate of fire, a tighter hip fire spread, a faster reload, uh, and arguably better recoil in close range. It has less range, definitely, um, but it's, it's really, really a better close close weapon. So if you want to play Assault the whole time, you can easily just use the M16 as the cops and then the M416 as the criminals. There is pretty much no disadvantage uh, to doing this, you know, you obviously you'll learn from both guns because they're pretty much exactly the same. Obviously if I unlock this site for the M16, I won't unlock it for the M416, but uh, it will help you get better at it and honestly eventually you might be able to get up to that 1250 kills in order to be able to unlock it for both the classes. Now one thing about the M16 as well is uh, both of these weapons, in fact, no matter what you put on them, they'll do well. Um, now the next weapon is kind of odd uh, because it's the AKM. Now this is different to both of these weapons. The disadvantage of this one is it has a slower rate of fire. It's only 600 rounds per minute, has a slower reload, uh, and overall just isn't as close quarters. So why is it any good? Because it's amazing at range, that's why. Although the AKM only fires 600 rounds per minute, it has very good recoil at long range. It kicks heavy, but if you manage to control it well enough, you can easily just point it, and it's gonna the rounds are just gonna go straight on. It has amazingly good range, uh, and like I said, the damage is pretty damn good as well. It's higher than all of them. I believe it's the 3423, so that's really good. That's pretty much a three shot kill. In fact, that is a three shot kill at most ranges. Um, now, like I said, disadvantages are heavy recoil, slower rate of fire, and slower reload, but that's definitely not going to take away from it. This is still an extremely good weapon. Uh, but the one, one problem is, is for the criminals, so you've got to decide if you're going to use the AKM or the M416. Personally, I prefer the AKM, but the M416 is fun every now and then. Now for the next weapon, which one I think is the most overpowered and underbalanced, or underbalanced, badly balanced weapons, is the K10. This is a cop gun. Uh, and by the way, if anyone wants to know, the 10 in K10 stands for the amount of kills you should get every life. Because this thing is insane. If I was 1,200 rounds per minute, it's the standard sort of SMG assault rifle damage rate. You know, there's no change there. It's unbelievably accurate and has surprising range for a SMG. Not to mention the fact that it has an incredible reload. And it's just overall really overpowered. You know, before we had weapons that fired 1,000 rounds per minute and they were overpowered. But now we have weapon that fires 1,200. And people aren't saying this one's overpowered. Definitely, this needs to be patched, but go and use it before it isn't, because it's just crazy. The amount of times I'll be playing on a close quarter server and get killed by the K10 is just insane. I cannot believe it. Uh, I'll be seriously surprised if I don't actually get the uh, weapon license for this one and have it for both cops and criminals. That would just be an absolute shock to me. Now, kind of a little different one, uh, this is the RPG. This is actually a battle pickup, it's not a weapon, you pick it up off the ground, you shoot it or whatever you want to shoot it at, uh, and it pretty much destroys everything in one shot. I dislike that. Uh, personally, I think it should destroy cars and that in one shot, but if you get the armoured chassis, then it should actually do two shots, because uh, at least then, you know, you can't always go up and just one shot everything and get tons of points for it. I, I think it's just unbalanced with the fact it does one shot destroys pretty much anything, two shots destroys armoured cars. That makes no sense to me, especially in a game where it's not even meant to be used too often. They said, oh, it won't be too powerful, you know, we're not really going to have it too much. Yeah, shut up. We know the RPG is always planned overpowered, so just 
you know, patch it in a later date, so please, it is still your pad, and pretty much everyone agrees with this, unless you're the one using it. There's just a few honorable mentions to a few other weapons, there's the P90, which is essentially like a downgraded version of the K10, um, this one doesn't do uh, as it doesn't have as fast a rate of fire, it only fires 900 rounds per minute. It's not quite as accurate, but it's still pretty damn good. Um, and overall, it's just, like I said, a downgraded version, but it does have a 50 round magazine, which is a huge boost because you can just constantly fire without having any problem. So I definitely recommend trying to use that one as well um, if you can't actually use the K10, because I believe the K10 is a cop weapon, or the, cop, the K10 is a cop weapon, and the P90 is a criminal weapon. Uh, so go ahead and you know change between those two every now and then. Now another weapon that is isn't really overpowered, it's just very powerful, is the H-car. This thing is essentially a artillery gun that you can mount on your shoulder. This thing is insane. I'm pretty sure I've gone through uh, armored tanks or armored trucks before, uh, like the counterattack vehicle and the um, sort of mobile spawn vehicle. It is just insane. This thing. It's not really overpowered because it has huge recoil, sort of a slow reload, uh, and very slow rate of fire. 450, slowest in the game, aside from the bolt actions, uh, and it's just unbelievably slow but is unbelievably powerful as well. This thing probably fires like shells bigger than my hand. It's just insane. Should definitely shouldn't be patched. I mean it's perfectly balanced, but it's just really overpowered. And then finally we have the taser, which I think shouldn't really kill in one shot, you know, shouldn't really down in one shot. Honestly though that's, that's something that is kind of okay, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it doing one shot down. But I think it should be maybe patched and be a bit more close quarters. Um, and honestly, you kind of have to watch out for this one yourself. If it isn't patched, there's no problem, um, but it should maybe, maybe be thought about just a little bit. And then lastly, we have the incendiary. Now, this thing comes in two different forms. It comes in the Molotov form and then the sort of grenade form. Uh, that's for the cops and then for the criminals. Uh, and honestly, this isn't, isn't overpowered, but it has two shots. Now, that's kind of a little bit, hmm, hang on, really? Two uh, incendiary grenades? That's kind of weird. Also, the fact the RPG can actually lock on using the tracking uh, dart is kind of overpowered. Also, I really dislike this. You're playing on hot wire, you got to get a vehicle, you think, oh, there's no problem here, I'll just climb in, and yeah, there's somebody hiding in the grass, you won't see him here. But until then, guys, I'll see you soon. I'll see you some guys, but soon, out.